Hey guys, Blazy here. With Pride Month now on, and the big companies coming out in support by selling merch and putting rainbows on their products and so they'd love us for a month to fill up those greedy pockets of theirs, I thought it was time to talk about my gay journey. It was a simple time in my life. And then I saw a dick. The end. But seriously though, let's talk about this. Let's talk about how I slowly figured out that I was a little bit bi, but mostly gay. So, I think yes, I will clarify that first, I am not 100% gay. When it comes to relationships, I only want to date men, but in terms of sex, I'm okay with male or female, or whatever you are. So, I, I do see it easier to just say I'm gay rather than bi. But at the same time, I do clarify myself as me. I'm just me. <laughs> I like what I like and will sex what I sex. <laughs> simple as that. Even though I know it's not that simple. It simply is never really that simple in the end. Especially when you're growing up. As a child, I don't know if there was ever a moment I'm like, oh, I'm gay. Or, oh, I want to date other boys. I don't feel like there was anything like that when I was a child, at least in primary school. In primary school, I wanted to date the other girls, which never happened until like year five because of one person. One person. My best friend. Yes, I'm kind of outing this, but we haven't spoken since high school and I haven't talked to any of my high school friends since high school, which is kind of sad, but it happens. Uh, so I don't think anyone wants, I don't think any of them watch my channel or know about me like this or anything like that. If they do, I uh, apologize for what you're about to hear. <laughs> about this person. <laughs> so my best friend at the time always, always got girlfriends. I don't think there was a single girl in our year group and probably the ones down, the one under and above our year group that he didn't date. Multiple times, even during primary school. Little did they know, and us two at the time, we went past first base before any of them did and done more than they probably ever did. Now, please understand this. Please do. We were kids and had no idea what we were doing. We would basically dare each other to do gross stuff that, realising now, was actually kind of sexual. <laughs> Some of it was just like, I dare you to lick my nostrils. I dare you to lick my tongue. I dare you to lick my feet. Really dumb kid stuff like that. Really, really stupid kind of kid stuff, you know, that you would kind of dare people to do, you know? But... It would kind of escalate, you could say, and looking back on it, yeah, that was definitely a uh, passing third base there. Again though, we were just dumb kids not knowing any better, please do understand that. Hell, maybe he did it with other people, that cheating bastard. I really don't know. We also showered together because of like, how good our friends we were. We were so damn close and we didn't want to separate even for a second. So when the other one would shower, we would just be like, yeah, you want to shower together? Yeah, sure, why not? We're just friends. <laughs> I stood no chance at being just a little bit gay. <laughs> Though once high school hit, we had separate rooms and started getting different friends and then had stopped doing that kind of stuff. But I never forgot and always wondered if he remembered. I always did. During that time too is when the puberty starts to really hit and you start figuring stuff out about yourself. And I would remember these weird times we had like, and just kind of remember I liked doing them. I kind of remember starting a lot of it. I, I remember a good few times I wanted to do it, but it was late and he was tired and it's just like, damn, I didn't get to do weird shit. What the fuck was my tiny brain thinking? My tiny brain was just ready for me to be a really kiki dude. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Again, I want to say we were dumb kids. I didn't know what I was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. Okay, we would still hang out during high school a lot, though, for sure. Like, we, like we would always go over to each other's houses all the time. Like, experienced so much with him. It was really great. I love him. I really do. He's a great friend. Absolutely. So yeah, we were, we would like hang out at his home, and I didn't have any internet access in my house. For one, it was a pretty new thing. While while I, I was being 
around when I was a child, it was still pretty new. But by the time high school rolled around, it was several years old by then. So, quite a few porn sites have popped up by then. One, in particular, Meat Spin. <laughs> Anyone remember Meat Spin? Because I, I sure do. Yep, because I remember this story. I remember my friend putting it on for the both of us and going like, Ew, oh my god, haha, what the fuck, ew, and then turning it off. And then he went off to, like, go shower or something. This was, like, in high school here, so when we stopped showering together by this point. Because then it started to get a little bit weird. <laughs> and while he was off going to shower, I put it back on and just sat there and watched it. And, and to try and see, like, if I would turn it off. But I, I, I did it. I, I was just kind of like, is this bad? What's wrong with this? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Because I kind of like this. <laughs> I didn't hate what I was looking at. And honestly, that's when I started realizing I might be into guys. I might be into dick spinning. <laughs> I might be into guys because of fucking meat spin. Goddamn meat spin. Helped me <laughs> realize who I was. I'm sure it did for a lot of people because it was kind of like a meme at the time to go like, "Oh, hey, you should check out this website." Da -da -da. Oh, look, it's a dick spinning. Ah, ew. But I'm sure there was probably a few kids who were just like, "Ah, oh." <laughs> As time went on, when I was around maybe 14 or 15, my brother discovered a furry fandom, and I can't remember how, but I got like a collection of his files from him. Probably just stole them as I do, you know, as brothers do, I guess, you know, it's just like, or it's just as I do, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a, a asshole like that. <laughs> and so then I saw a bunch of furry porn, both male and female, so he had both, so he was like, like, is he gay, is he bi, what, what's going on with him, or is it just, it's just furry porn, it's not real porn, not real people, so I don't, no, you know, it, it, was a, it was a strange time. Absolutely a strange time for me. But the main thing was I generally preferred the males. These were like characters that I knew, you know, like like Yoshi, Gilmore, Star Fox, Star Wolf and all that. These were characters that like I generally recognized and I enjoyed the males a lot more than any of the female characters. Like Wenamon was a huge one. I did really care. So as I said, I didn't have internet at home because my mom was like, no, you can't have internet, there might be weirdos on there. Sorry, mom, I'm one of them now. So the only place I could access internet was at my grandma's place. And boy, did I look up a lot of porn. <laughs> and they knew because we didn't know how to get rid of it. Like we didn't know how to delete search history and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry, you guys probably saw some weird shit and I apologize. <laughs> It was just a very odd time in my life. I would now and then simply search gay porn. <laughs> and I'll click into it and then quickly click away as I like, like, what the fuck am I looking at? Why am I doing this? Why, why am I looking at it? And as time went on, I would look at it for longer and longer. And... <sighs> And then, yeah, as time went on, I became more interested in the furry fandom and started joining up with, like, fur affinity and just accepted, more or less, I'm into males. Not really understanding why or anything, but just kind of, kind of going, yeah, I like furries, at least, because... <sighs> I generally wasn't into a lot of human males. I wasn't... Even now, I'm very selective, and I hate that about myself. Uh, I've definitely gotten better, but I'm definitely very selective on who, what... Uh, humans I like, sexually. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's one of those things, it's just weird. I'm weird, I know that. Because I'm just not... 100% gay, not 100% bi, not 100% straight, I'm just weird and me. I'm just me and I don't really understand a lot of it. And yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know man. It's, 
it's weird. Because, like, yeah, let, let me just uh, keep talking and go, go in a little bit more into it. Because, like, when I was growing up and understanding the world, it, it was just a, a really weird time, as, uh, as I said. Uh, like, we had gay kids in my school who were, like, the classic gays with the particular speech patterns you would associate with gay people kind of thing. But that wasn't me. Nor did I want to be like that. Like, I didn't want to be a kind of stereotype, I guess, but, like, it just, um, that's what I knew from the media and such, but that just wasn't me, so I just kind of questioned, am I gay then, because that's not me, I'm not like that at all, but I wasn't also a typical dude kind of person, I, I just didn't fit into any gay stereotypes, but I just, I just, didn't really want to be like that, so I really don't know who I was, and by god did I struggle with that so damn much. I had no idea who I was, what I really like, and hell, even struggling with thinking maybe I want to be female. No, I didn't really understand trans people or cross-dressing and all that kind of stuff back then. Um, there were just times where like, I was interested in female clothing, sure. But I just, uh, you know, we di I didn't understand that world back then. Um, I didn't have access to the internet to kind of Google things and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but in, in general, I just didn't, you know, really understand a lot of things. It was just one of those things where I was like, would it be easier for me if I was? Because I wasn't like a stereotypical gay. But I still like men, so maybe I'm just a female who likes men, kind of thing. But it was one of those things where I was just like, maybe it would just be easier for me if I was. It would be easier for my channel if I had big boobies for you guys, and then I would get a lot more views. <laughs> I mean, I had big boobies, but not big enough. <laughs> But yeah, that, that was just one of my struggles at the time, because I just simply didn't understand anything. I didn't have enough access to the internet to figure myself out. I just didn't know who I was. High school was an extremely tough time and for me in that sense. I did not who, know who I was. I still don't know who I am. I, I still really don't know. So that's kind of why I just say now that I'm just me. Honestly, if you're struggling in a way with identity, don't label yourself so easily because then you're kind of stuck in trying to fit into that label, especially when you're young, especially when you're young, you know, um, because things do change sometimes, sometimes, not for everyone, obviously, but sometimes you do kind of just go a bit all over the place, get puberty and all that, it's, it's a mess, it's utterly a mess. <laughs> And I just don't like labels, because it's kind of stuck in it. It could work for a lot of people, but for me, calling myself gay when I was younger just simply didn't help. Because it's not that simple for me. Because I didn't fit into stereotypes, so I tried to be one, but nothing works. So, oh, maybe I just need to have sex and I can judge what I like and don't like. It's such a goddamn difficult thing to try and understand that, as I said, I still struggle with it. I say I prefer the idea of being in a relationship with a guy, but here's the thing. I have never been in a real relationship. So how do I truly know? I, I don't. I know I don't want kids. <laughs> sure, I've never had kids, so how do I know if I want kids? Because I, I, cause I don't want a, a goddamn little brat running around, because I would be... <laughs> Me being a father? Yeah, no. Maybe I can be a daddy, but not a father. <laughs> but yeah, that, like, yeah, I... But going back to high school in year 12, the final year, well, for month before, over on Facebook, which I did at least have access to on my phone, I came out of the closet with a astounding... Okay. <laughs> Only one person cared. Wobbit. Shout out to you, dude. Shout out for being a decent bloke to me, for at least being like, no way, dude, you're being hacked or something. And I'm like, nope, for real me. So he was like, well, didn't see that coming. He, shout out to you for at least, like, at least talking to me and everything. No one really cared. No one cared. Like, that was about it. In a month, I went to school and no one cared. Not one person ever mentioned it. I mean, yay, I didn't get bullied for being gay or something like that. 
Uh, but, like, not one person mentioned it. So, like, same time, year 12, the last year of school, everyone was, was just kind of done. Everyone had their particular group of friends. Everyone had their own things to do. So no one just really cared. Year 12 was pretty simple like that for me. No one cared at that point. It kind of sucked, honestly, because, yeah, yeah, no one did care about me. No one came and talked to me about it. And not even the gay kids at the school. I was so alone. I was so alone in my thoughts. And that's probably why I still struggle with everything. Because I never had anyone to help me understand who I was. I didn't have, like, a, a friend group that could uh, help uh, explain things to me. After school finished, it was just... Like, I at least had, like, I talked to the fairies, eventually met some, and then realised, yep, I love cock. <laughs> and that's the story of how I became mostly gay with a little bit of bi in me. In short, me and a friend did weird shit as kids without understanding it, and then I discovered fairies and realised, hey, Star Fox is kinda hot. <laughs> I don't know, I admittedly, well, yeah, just... I just started to tear up a little there because that was, uh, thinking about it, wow, I really was just alone. Yeah, I had furries I talked to on social media and such, um, most of them struggling with their own things and everything, but I never had someone to really talk to. And... I was already just like a weird kid by myself kind of thing, very, I never really had a friend in high school, you know, I did have my best friend, but we did grow apart in high school, and so I never really had anyone to really uh, talk to or come out to, and so I just kind of just really struggled on my own for a good while there, so yeah, um, I hope others today aren't struggling. I hope things have gotten better in schools and for pe I, I just hope things have gotten better for a lot of people. I also hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Please do, do give this video a like and comment down below that I'm a weirdo because I am. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, please do subscribe because I'll love you if you do. Hit that bell icon and this fox says, Happy Pride Month and be who you want to be. Alright guys, bye for now. Eww. And I will say, if you guys are wondering about the lighting, what's happening with the lighting? I got a ring light. Pew. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a wing light so I could do shit with. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so, uh, expect some fun stuff there, or at least just all. Oh, ah, that blinded. Ah! Stop! 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 It's all good. So, at least expect some better lighting on videos and me to do. Maybe I'll try and do stuff with it. I doubt it. Maybe over on TikTok. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Click.